Hi. Uh, I went to see my friend Sally yesterday and I actually felt quite sorry for her because she had to have put up with me pacing around the room, drinking cups of coffee, talking too much and being basically incredibly manic. And of course we talked about it and um, we realized that it's because Mars is in Pisces, which in a sign in which I have a huge stellium. Mars has finally reached Pisces after months and months and months and months in Aquarius. Um, and will be there for another five weeks. So this gives you a huge boost of vitality and excitement and energy that Pisces you should really use. But it's not just the Pisces who are going to be in this manic state. Um, it's also affecting uh, the other mutable signs a lot. Sagittarius, Gemini and Virgo, the opposite sign to Pisces. Um, all of you will be, probably be feeling some kind of tension. Um, but without tension, what's life? We need tension in order to make things happen and we need anxiety in order to perform, right? So you need a little bit of stress in your life. It's a pretty stressful week though. And why is this? Not just because of Mars in Pisces. That Mars in Pisces is making a really sharp angle to the full upcoming full moon, which is in Gemini, the other, one of the other mutable signs and which opposes the sun in Sagittarius, right? And the sun in Sagittarius is making conjunction with Jupiter, the expander, and Mercury retrograde. So the whole thing is really, really tense. Um, now, Mercury retrograde, I just want to say a word about that too, right? Because, well, I'm doing it. I'm talking really fast, and I'm probably say, a lot of words are spilling out. And this is Mercury in Sagittarius, right? Blah, 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 blah but it's retrograde. So you do need to be careful about what you're saying and you do need to make sure that you're listening. This all, this full moon comes to a sort of crescendo around uh, Thanksgiving for my American friends. But this tension does not just release immediately after the full moon. Uh, it goes on because Mars continues squaring the sun and it continues squaring Mer Mercury retrograde. So that tense aspect is, is an, a bit of an ongoing one this week. It's not going to stick around forever though. So that's worth noting. And you may have a sense actually of breakthrough. And because Jupiter is involved, this exaggerates the whole thing, but it does give it a kind of positivity, a positive spin. Um, in the meantime, my advice is to find something that you will that will calm you um, in the intervals between having very, very lively conversations with various relatives or friends. Um, yeah, like a cat. See you next time.